Our goal is to reduce the gap while improving care for all. So when you look at reducing the gap, there's a, one way to do it is to decrease your performance from, for one cohort while either staying the same or increasing for another. And so we talk about it in improving rates for everyone while reducing the gap. For example, we have um, our goal of reducing uh, disparities gap in mammography and we had one clinic that came up with this um, bright pink ticket idea so they call it their pink ticket for the mammogram and the workflow is the radiology tech looks at the schedules the day before cues the scheduling or the reception staff as to who needs a mammogram when that patient comes in the receptionist gives them a bright pink ticket and says so you're due for mammogram today why don't you get it here's your pink ticket we'll make sure you get it today well that pink ticket also serves it as, as a decision aid for the nurses and for the physicians and clinicians to recommend the mammogram so and then when the visit's done the nurse escorts the patient uh, to the mammography area and introduces them to the mammography tech who then takes the patient to get the mammography. And this was a test of change that was developed by the receptionists and the nurses and the radiology techs. Well, they got their gap to less than 1%. And so one clinic trying one simple test of change that we've now spread to other clinics. When I trained and when I started, we were trained and we set up our clinic systems to have preventive visits and then we would have chronic care visits and then we would have acute care visits and so it was very possible that a patient might come in for a diabetes visit and we didn't realize they were in need of a mammogram and so then we'd be chasing them afterwards to try and get them back in. But patients don't think of themselves as, this is my preventive visit, this is my diabetes visit, this is my visit for my back pain. And so when we redid our workflows, we said every patient, every visit, and what's the recommended care. So that if a patient comes in for back pain, we're recommending any preventive services they need. We're, re we're dealing with the diabetes care that they might need. And we're using the full care team members where most of this used to fall on the physician or the nurse practitioner. It's now the nurse, it's the scheduler, it's everybody helping to identify the needs for that patient and supporting that patient. our state and the country are becoming more more diverse we need to certainly improve the care for our patients but it's also about having it be a welcoming uh, organization and having our patients feeling confident and comfortable in our care and so from that standpoint yes because it helps us grow our organization in the case of mammography when we're doing same day mammograms I think we've done 6,000 same day mammograms over the course of a year well that helps the bottom line and it's recommended care it's not overuse and so by doing this, it's the right thing to do, and it helps us with, uh, with triple aim, both from the standpoint of quality patient experience, affordability, because we're catching disease early, and then also even from the bottom line on, on where recommended care isn't being done, then we've got the opportunity to provide that as well. Mm -hmm.